Hey, how's it going, Jelly Squad? It's God Darkseid here, back with the finale for the DPS comparison of a Cluster Rocket versus the Dank Drinker. Honestly, part 2 was supposed to be the last video, but I kept getting more questions and people wanted to see the kind of damage you could do with both situations, but for all three stun phases. So I figured, why not? Let's make the video. Unlike the previous one stun axis DPS phase, we're now going to be testing the amount of damage you can do in three axis stun phases. A big factor that will play into this testing is ammo usage. So let's set some rules up for this testing. For rule 1, the heavy weapon should primarily be used before using the secondary weapon unless testing the Dark Drinker loadout and Axis accidentally spawns across the room. Only then you can use the X Machina in case of damage. Rule 2, in the event of running out of heavy ammo, a heavy ammo synth is to be used so that more heavy weapon damage can be applied. And lastly, rule 3, the user is not to throw any SIVA charges or use any of the cannons so that damage can be assessed based on these two loadouts. The first loadout will be the Black Spindle in conjunction with the new vendor roll Unto Dust 00 versus the X Machina in combination with the Dank Drinker, also known as the Dark Drinker. Equipped with both Warrior Light and Memory of Radagast. So without any more delays guys, let's get into the testing and let's see the results. And there's the entire DPS phase guys. As you saw in both situations, both ran out of heavy, I popped the heavy synth, and I allowed for more DPS. I know, it looks like you're, the way you're swinging around. So the results are written guys, and the Unto Dust 00 does in fact beat the Dark Drinker, but only by a little bit over 50,000 player damage. So in conclusion, both loadouts do pretty much the same amount of damage on average. There are, you know, unique situations where one loadout can outperform the other, depending on, you know, such thing as ammo availability, access locations, you know, what's your fire team role. So DPS alone should not be the reason why you choose one over the other, since they're pretty much the same. But in terms of versatility, the Dark Drinker will always reign supreme since it allows the ability to one-shot captains more consistently, you can apply stupid amount of DPS to Axis, and it allows you to look like a freaking badass doing it. Unto Dust and Warpath on the other hand, like they're great weapons, they have great roles, they're great for DPS, you know, they give you the ability to free up an exotic slot, but all in all, they don't really have the capability of killing captains like the Dark Trigger can do. What really makes the Unto Dust 00 or the Warpath such great weapons is that they're easily available for Guardians who have never gotten the Dark Drinker before. So whether you're out there using the Dark Drinker or you're using my favorite combination of Unto Dust and Black Spindle, I hope everyone is having a great time in Age of Triumphs. Now before I go, I want to thank you guys, the Jelly Squad, 